Good. Hello. How are you? Today, I'm going to be reading you a book about one of my kind of favorite things I liked as a kid. Freight trains. I love trains. When I grew up, I grew up in the country. So we would see the train pass by all the time. We knew the schedule, so we knew what time to listen for the sound of the train. So I hope you enjoy this book as well as I do. This book is called Freight Train and it's written by Donald Cruz. So before we start the book, I want you guys to listen to a sound. As a kid, that was one of my favorite sounds to hear, guys. When I say the train, let me make sure. Oh, I knew it was going to play it again. I would listen for the train, and it would just be so exciting to me. But let's get into the book. Like I said, it was written by Donald Cruz, and it's called Freight Train. And this is the front, and this is the back. You can see the caboose of the train and all of the cars of the train and it says took a took a choo choo hoo hoo is it a plane no is it a car uh-uh is it a bicycle no way it's a train so like i said this book has oh yeah and it has a spine that holds it together keeps your pages from falling out and it has a title page it says, a train runs across this track. See, that's the railroad track. Red caboose at the back. Orange tank car is next. Yellow hopper car. A green cattle car. A cattle car holds the horses or cows. So cattle, anything that you that's alive. You got a blue gondola box car. Then you got a purple box car. A black tender and a black steam engine. Trains kind of look like this now, but not a lot. Well, the engine might look the same, but they're different colors now. Freight train, and there's the entire train going down the track. This is a short train because I know if you live anywhere near a train track and you have to go somewhere, normally the train will hold you up 10 minutes, 15 minutes, sometimes longer. If it's a freight train, moving, and when it's going fast, you see how it looks like a swoosh? Going through tunnels. Tunnels are like big holes that have been dug in the side of the mountain. So when it goes through a tunnel, it's going through the mountain. Going by cities. So if you live in Hazel Park, Oak Park, Ferndale, Pontiac, that's a city. So the train came through your city anywhere else crossing trestles a trestle is like a bridge so you'll see these out in the wide open country sometimes you'll see them close to a city and it's just divide it's just putting this piece of land connecting it to that piece of land so that the train can go across because it was like a ditch or a gully or a valley so they had to build it to make it up. And the train travels at night. And it also moves in the daylight.
and it's gone because it went on to the next city. I hope you enjoyed that book and I hope the next time you see a train, you'll think about it. All the nice sounds that the train made and you'll listen for the sound. And again, the name of the book is Freight Train by Donna Pierce. Brought back some fun memories. I might take my grandbaby and let's go let's look at the train. Because sometimes you can park in certain places and you can watch the trains on the train yard. So that might be something you can do with, their, with your family one day. Go watch the trains or even the planes take off and land. Okay. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, you know what? Draw me a train. So when we get on our next Zoom, we can... Compare and see whose train, who made the longest train, who made all of the cars that we saw on the train, okay? I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.